What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Primitive Predators. Today we are back in the greenhouse and we're feeding the larger crocodiles whole chicken. So first up is the saltwater pair. So we'll start with a female here. She's been super vocal this week. Easy boy, easy. All right, good. I'm gonna focus on that. And she'll probably take that in the water. But even then, she's being super slow. She's much more focused on the male than the female. Or than the, sorry. He, she's focused on the male more than the, uh, the chicken. But he's definitely only interested in the food. Kind of missed it there. Yeah, he did. That was some crazy pops, though. Yeah, and it's crazy how he could spin and kiss his tail. So that's the thing is crocodiles are so agile. He's becoming a vegetarian. He's eating some uh, some foliage <laughs> there. So as you saw, he let's get as you saw before, he missed it. So let's see if we can get him to do a, another proper jump here and have him grab it this time. There we go. See, that's so funny. He's so focused on him and not the uh, the chicken that she has. Hey, what do you think is causing that? Why? Why would she only be focused maybe, on him, not food? Maybe she's ovulating. I mean, she does look like she has a little bit of a funky belly that she could be holding eggs. So, I mean, she could just be having late ovulation. Um, and that's why she's definitely showing a lot of interest because she's definitely at the uh, adult size now. So the male is coming into his his age too, but he's, he's definitely a smaller male. Um, but as we saw with that American crocodiles, you know, they're laying eggs super young. I mean, that's definitely an adult size saltwater crocodile female. Yeah, I mean, she's even, I hate to say it, but I think she's bigger than the one you've got with the giant salty that does lay eggs. So she's got yeah. good size to her. She does. And these guys will be going outside right when everything else moves over to the new facility. So these guys, I'm gonna see, this is another experiment, uh, to see if keeping them next to each other where it's, there's no visual barriers, they can see each other at all times, if that helps uh, as far as an introduction process. Let's see if we'll get another good jump here. Come on, buddy. See, he doesn't have much of a jump, but as long as you time it right when he starts to open his mouth, it's all good. Now, this is all antibiotic and hormone-free chicken. I don't feed a ton of it, um, but it is just a good, uh, a, just a, another filler for their diet to really give them a good, varied diet. Now, I see uh, this course. female take another one. Do you think she'll... Did she even eat her first one? No, it's sitting right there. No. So again, she is, she's acting super weird. I mean, for her to be that vocal right off the rip, and she was only interested in the male. Every time the male would get close to the fence, she would get close to the fence and vocalize to him. Um, so I really do think that she's possibly ovulating, and that's why she's number one, going off feeding, and number two, interested in that boy next door. So as you can see, he's, he's definitely showing signs that it's... He, he needs more lubrication in his throat. So I want to try to throw the next chicken close to the water so it kind of incentivizes him to shoot in the water and just help with that swallowing process. So he's gonna grab it and there we go, perfect. So again, it's all about knowing the behavior of crocodiles and kind of a, adjusting your way of feeding them, the way you're interacting them to get, to target what you want you know, as far as the behavior. Take a look at her. She is like, as soon as he went in the water, she turned and started rubbing against the fence like she wanted to get closer there. Yeah, I really, I really do think she, if you drop this fence, she's just gonna try to get him to breed with her. Because, I mean, she's never shown any, she's never shown any signs like this. And again, like I said before, she is starting to get into an adult size animal. So I think it's that time of year that she's, uh, she's looking to breed. So what do we got next for feeding? Uh, so we got these two, he's sitting on, so you can see there, he's gonna sit on it for a little bit, so he's pretty full right now. He, there's a good chance he'll swallow that and maybe take one more, but they're definitely slowing down. So we'll move over to the brown can. So last time we fed this guy a chicken, he split it apart and left the remainder. So what I'm gonna try to do is... And this is the brown caiman, which is actually, now, is it a confirmed subspecies of the spectacle, or is it kind of like locality right now? Yeah, so from what I know, this is a full subspecies of the spectacle cave, so it's not just a locale or whatnot, but he's 
So I've got a big belly. So maybe we'll just even give him a little piece. You know, brown came out already more of a very light golden coloration. He's looking interested. Oh, well, he's interested. See him this one. What was that? <laughs> uh, take it to water and eat it. Get that sand off there. That's kind of a pathetic jump. You leave him alone. So what we got next? Uh, going to the New Guinea? We'll or? go to Hothead there. Salty side meat crocodile. Come on. Come on. I don't like them to launch there because then they'll always fall and flap their head, but let's see. There you go. He's still looking for some more food, so we'll give her one more whole chicken. If she ever finds it. Well, the chicken's there for her. Oh, oh there she oh, goes. Oh, and she's got it. Perfect. Now, what's the deal with these salty Siamese? Because I hear all the time that these guys don't have a, some kind of gene that makes them stop growing. Do you know anything about that, Kyle? Or, or are we just going to say, we'll see how big that one gets? I've heard that is in uh, ligers, you know, lions and tiger hybrids and tigons. Um, I don't know if it crosses over to other hybrids. Um, just because she is, I mean, she's being fed like everybody else. And those Australian saltwater crocodiles are growing a lot faster than her. So it's... It's not like she's growing very fast. I mean, I've had her for a, a while. So, uh, I don't think so, but... Uh, and what do we got now? We got the New Guinea? He has a New Guinea here. Come on, man. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty crocodile. Uh, he's gorgeous. I think it's a he. <laughs> he's getting to be almost adulthood. What do we got next? Are you going to throw these to some of the Yukari? All right, so let's see if we can get, see what, what comes our way. Definitely something on the way. Female. Okay. Let's see if that male's on the other side. Oh, oh here, here he comes. Okay. I'm going to give him a whole chicken. Okay. And here comes the other female. Perfect. Come on, girl. That's, dude, this one's vocal. <laughs> is he normally like that? Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't Kari heard him vocalize that much. Usually Kari came in are so vocal. I mean, he's usually not that vocal, but we have heard swallowing it down. Perfect side piece for it. All right, guys, well, that wraps up another episode of Primitive Predators. Yeah, and if you liked today's episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out some of our new merchandise. I'll put the link down below. Follow us on Instagram at Primitive Predators, and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.